Hey guys, welcome back to a new video tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to deploy or host your React application for free with Verso. And without further ado, let's now get started. All right, now let's just create a new React app. And to do that, now let me just quickly create a new repo inside uh, GitHub. So press on the new button here. And now you can see that you just need to give a name. So I'm going to call this as react.js free hosting. All right. So I don't need any description, uh, public, and I can skip this step, create a button. Okay, so now we are here and this is just a blank uh, folder. And um, mm -hmm. I just want to also mention that uh, if you try to install it or start from scratch, you have to install uh, Git here. So you can just download this for Windows. And also you need to install Node.js as well. And this page, uh, this is the command that we can just follow to create a new React uh, app or a new uh, React project. Okay, so now let's just go back quickly and I want to grab this link and I will clone this to my local machine. For this tutorial, I use uh, source tree to clone my project or you can just use git command to do that as well. So now let's just paste that and this is the directory. I want to change it to dryd. So starting from here will be dryd and this is the folder. And this is the name. Just click on the clone button. Okay, so now it's cloned. And here, this is the folder inside my dryd called react.js free hosting with the git folder here as well. So now let's just uh, open this folder inside my virtual serial code. All right, I have opened it in the VS code. Now let's just click on the terminal and click on the new one. So what I'm doing right now, I just need to go back to grab the command here. So copy that, go back, paste it here. But instead of calling this um, app as my app, I will just use uh, the same as the folder name. So this will be called the react.js free hosting. Then press on the enter button. Okay, so react app has been uh, installed. Let's just go back to this folder. So what I'm going to do now, so here you can see that it create a new folder inside here. We get all of the uh, necessary uh, files and also folder to be able to run the uh, React app. So what I want to do now, I just want to uh, cut everything. So Control X and go back to this uh, folder and paste everything here. Okay, so once everything is moved, you, you can see now that nothing here inside this folder. I can just delete this folder now. All right, so this is what it looked like. And now inside the same directory, I want to quickly run npm start to start the application. Okay, so here it is up and running on my local machine. And this is the folder. So what I want to do now, let's just go back to this and press on the control C on the keyboard to terminate this. What I want to now do is to uh, push everything using command line. So git status here, we can see that it's include the git ignore uh, all of this uh, folder and accept the um, node module so now let's just take a look at here you can see that it ignore uh, all of these uh, files and directory okay so now let me just use the command um, git add dot so what this mean it will just try to push everything all of the files and folder and now let me just try to use the git setters again. 
here you can see that these are all the new files that will be pushed or uh, will be uploaded to github next i want to use the command git commit dash m and inside this i can just say uh, create a new react app press enter and next I want to push this to github so I use this command git push dash u origin master okay so origin master this will be pushed to master branch press on enter button All right, so here we can see that everything is pushed. Just to make sure, we can run this command again. And here you can see that it is up to date with the origins uh, slash uh, master. Now let me just go back and quickly refresh this. Okay, so here you can see that inside this React free hosting, uh, we have pushed everything including the uh, readme file as well with all of the information here so the next step i want to show you is getting into how to host this uh, react app for completely free okay so here comes the deployment part you can now see that the website that i am on right now is called verso.com so this will allow us to deploy our react app for completely free now let's just take a look what uh, it says first so here we have a lot of information and also with this different framework like next.js uh, create react app uh, view and more uh, you can see angular uh, and gatsby here as well so this originally created only for the next.js but then it extended to the other frameworks as well now let's just scroll down here you can now see we can uh, push here to deploy and uh, share and collaborate and a uh, lot more uh, it's now over 70 cities around the world and 6.8 billion requests per week and for the data serve here you can see it's 9 petabyte already that's a lot of this and for the guarantee uptime it's 99.99 percent uh, here we can we can begin using this uh, now so what i'm going to do let me just click uh, continue with github you can also press on the sign up button on top here as well but i'm going to click here what it going to do uh, it want to verify or authorize this with my github account click on this to authorize okay so here i'm in now you can see on the right hand side this is the clone projects uh, if we don't have everything set up using like the git repo then we can just uh, use the template that is already exists so now what i'm doing is to add a new github uh, organization or the account okay so here it asked me for whether uh, i want to allow all the access to all repo or just selected the particular one I am going to select only the uh, important one which is the one that I'm working on react.js free hosting just like that and click on the install okay so here it is uh, now let's just click on the import button and if i want to collaborate i can just select the uh, create a team but i just need to uh, install what i'm doing is to host this for free and it select this by default because it recognized that this is a react app but if you uh, want to also uh, select manually you can do that as well so here's a list of the supported frameworks 
So I'm going to go with the uh, that one and the build. You can see that uh, it automatically uh, recognize which is running the npm run build or the script build. If you want to manually type it, you can do that here as well. And the environment variable, right now I don't have that. So I can just leave this blank. Click on the deploy button. Okay, so here it is trying to deploy. You can see that it detected it installing all the dependencies. Also, while this is installing, I just want to quickly show you uh, that if you don't want to click or use this on the website, there is another option which is the virtual uh, CLI as well. So let me just quickly show you that. All right, here it is. So now uh, you can see that this is the uh, virtual CLI. Uh, there's a command here and there's a full uh, documentation which you can also follow. I'm not going in detail in this one, just quickly introduce you that it also uh, exists as well. Okay, so now I'm going back here. You can see that it says, congratulations, the project has been successfully deployed. We can just click on this button to view that uh, project. And guys, you can now see that this is the uh, URL where you can also access to see this uh, running app. So this is the React uh, JS uh, dust free hosting dot uh, dot app. So what if I want to quickly uh, update the text here? So I can either update it from this uh, command or I can just directly uh, update it from here as well. So let me just uh, real quick update it from here. So I need to go for uh, looking for the app.js. Trying to look for the code. Okay, so here I found it. Let's just click on this edit this file. And I'm going to add a text here. So let me just remove everything. And say how to deploy free React. JS or probably just change this to how to deploy react JS app for free like that so once I have this I can just um, commit the change say right here updated text and commit it to the uh, master branch Okay, so now I have uh, made a change to this, which is uh, this text here. So now let me just uh, go back here and also open the dashboard. See whether it also uh, recognize that it is actually um, some change. Here you can see that uh, it says building um, updates to the updated text. And I can also click on the deployments tab here. So now you can see that it's building and this indicate the duration as well. So the last one which uh, we hosted here, it took uh, one minute to complete this. So this is another one which is updating the text. What about the analytics tabs here? So we can also get uh, the insights, what's, uh, how the project is doing and stuff. Okay, so for this one, it's only available for this uh, type of projects, not for React. And this is the setting. So if we want to also um, make changes to the build command or the output directory, we can do here as well. So now let's just go back to the deployments. And here it is up and running. So it took 47 uh, seconds. Now let me just try to refresh this page. And here it is guys. So here you can see the updated text, how to deploy React.js app for free. And I guess that pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you learn to deploy this for free. 
If you have any question, just let me know and don't forget to uh, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel to get more content like this in the uh, upcoming videos. And see you guys in the next video.